the next question in this C series is playing with characters here in this question they have told us about scanf function that is to take the input from user so we'll take a look at input format at first they have told us that uh, there will be an input of a character so here they have given us an input of a character which is C then they have told us to take an input of a string which is this language and after that they have taken the input of a sentence which is this welcome to C and what we have to do is that uh, we have to take this input and we have to print the same in the form of a output so here they have so here the same thing is C language and welcome to C so we'll move ahead to code So here they have included header files and down inside this main block we have to write the code. So first uh, we'll declare variables. So we'll require one variable for this character and we'll require a string which is this which is for this language and also for welcome to see. So yes it will be like character. All these three are in the form of character and here uh, as it is string we'll name it as str and inside that we'll pass the length so the length here in this case will be 50 and down below that for our sentence we'll write sen and inside that we'll pass length as 100 because yes the size or the length of sentence is bigger than that of the string okay so now what we have to do we have to take the input from the user and for that we'll write scanf and inside that scanf we'll write we'll write person c as it is character slash n and ampersand ch so that's it as it is character which we are going to take so we are going to write here percent c and for string values we are going to use percent s here in this case so scanf and inside that we'll write percent s for string slash n and after that we have to write ampersand and str so here we are going to take the input of string and down to the next step we are going to take the input of this sentence so we'll write scanf one more time and inside this we'll write percent s as it is a string and note uh, one change will be there here in this case because uh, there is space in between these two string or uh, string there is space so for that what we have to do we have to write brackets and inside that and slash n so what it will do is it will keep a count okay, just a second what it will do is it will just map this space I'll just demonstrate you after we'll complete the code and now here we have to write ampersand and sen that's it for this and we'll move ahead to print as they have told us to print this input what so it's sentence sen okay so now we are going to print it for that we'll write printf and inside that we'll write percent c because first we are going to print the character here in this case so ch and on the second line we are going to print the string so for that what we'll do we'll write slash n and here in this case it will be percent s because it is string percent s and then we'll type str okay so on the next line again we have to print the sentence so we'll write printf and inside that slash n percent s and SEN. that's it for this question and now what we'll do we'll just submit it and we'll check the code first yes it is running and now I'll show you what 
if we don't write this so I'll just cut it out and now we'll run the code and we'll check it as you can see here uh, the only word which has been considered over here is the welcome because there is space after that so it doesn't take the word so it will not take the word which is after that space which is this 2c so for that we have to write this before while taking the input and yes we'll submit the code yes it is working and the solution for other questions in this c series are available on my channel and, al and also the solution for python and c++ languages are also available on my channel and also thank you guys for watching this video